Oh, g'day, just wanted to talk about um, finger strip boards from LCD TVs. Uh, with uh, CRTs gone just about now, LCDs are, are, are the main scrap item that you know, sc scrappers will find on the streets. Uh, um, uh, the era of copper um, is, you know, really pretty much over. Um, now that the LCD monitors are mostly uh, circuit boards, well, uh, with every LCD monitor, they'll have finger strip boards which run along the top of the the screen, um, and they connect to the TCON board. And uh, these finger strip boards, uh, usually, there's in a LCD TV, there's two finger strip boards to every TV, and uh, along the you see the fingers here, and there's a ribbon tape that sticks to the fingers and uh, connects to the um, to the actual um, LCD screen. So these finger strip boards are a, a really you know something that's going to everyone's going to be finding you know or accumulating soon. Um, this is basically the the future of television scrapping and and. It's, uh, you know, the copper's gone and it's all about uh, circuit boards and uh, precious metal recovery. Um, from okay, so I'm out here uh, just with a LCD. Opened it up, so... Just want to get to the finger boards. This one's on a big steel board. Okay, so that's the, um, the TCOM board. Um, and you can see the, the ribbons that are connecting in, uh, even the those ribbons will be gold plated, and um, yeah, so um, fingerboards will be running along the the top here. There, now um, usually when you you know see videos of uh, LCDs. They're usually talking about the uh, TCOM board or the main board um, or the power board. Power board's usually the, one of the first things that gets faulty on, on the LCDs and uh, then it's usually the TCOM board. Anyway, so I'll just pull out now. These figure strip boards have got little tapes so just run a little screwdriver along cut the tape and they just pop out other side catch cut away okay now, so so that's it. Um, finger strip boards, and uh, it's connected to your TCOM board. So these little bits of ribbon wire that's they're stuck to the fingers. Pull them off. Sometimes the ribbon wire has a bit of plating. Sometimes it doesn't. In this case there's nothing okay so uh, before you process these boards you want to remove these ribbons otherwise um, your solution won't what needs to touch the uh, needs to touch the plating so so you've got to clean them up and anyway just, uh, so that's the two uh, finger strip boards and uh, here these ones are the blank backs so all we got in the front, but uh, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of uh, your uh, gold there as well. So yeah, again, uh, well, it's, it's uh, rather than cutting off these fingers, you want to just process this whole board after you clean it up. All right, so I'll go back in and uh, we'll go back to the to the main stack. They do vary a lot. Um, most of them are just one-sided. And the other side will be uh, just a blank, blank green. Um, there's also a little bit of gold on it. And sometimes other ones will be um, 
completely populated both sides uh, that, or a lot more a lot more things going on so that's one side and the other side well um, there's no no chips or anything it, you see the fingers here and then also the you know it's just a continuous finger of gold now this gold here is uh, it's really not gold plating it's gold flashing so uh, it's not as necessarily as high quality as something that would be gold plated um, but it's still gold and uh, it's there and um, so hey you know you accumulate these you uh, why not um, recover the gold now what what I'm starting to see is people are, are cutting the gold fingers off these boards um, but they're one-sided and uh, so there's no real point in in removing these gold fingers because you're going to kind of want to process this whole board um, so if you remove all these little chips and all, all the little resistors and MLCCs clean this board up and just have it green with the gold plating or flashing um, then you just process this whole board as you would just fingers you would just cut the board up in pieces and process each board because uh, you can see underneath you know all these little spots and dots and that uh, you know you might as well go go for the whole lot and get the full value out of this these boards because uh, as I said there it's not necessarily gold plating it's gold flashing and so uh, it's a it's a little bit less obviously less less gold weight so um, so you want to get as much out of these boards as possible and, and so just cutting off the fingers uh, you, you know you, you you're losing most of your value because you know in most of these boards there's more gold around on the board than there is on the actual fingers um, yeah, I'll give you a few more examples like uh, okay so this is uh, the back side of a, of a fingerboard and you can see that the the gold running all the way around right and then on the other side you've got not only do you have gold fingers but you've also got a gold uh, border running along this side too so uh, you know it's pointless just cutting off these fingers when you've got so much more gold hair and you know all, all the little tracing and and uh, is, is the same same gold so you might as well just cut these up and process the whole board as they are and because all the gold is exposed anyway so the only important thing is to remove all, all those little components like um, you know these MLCCs you know palladium silver recovery you got uh, um, a lot of tiny little resistors those re little resistors with the uh, little the their little black resistors with a little white number on the top they'll be numbered 135 or something like that uh, they've got their um, uh, um, they've got ruthenium in it rather than ruthenium uh, in there so uh, they're also worth uh, processing uh, but that's for another day um, yeah so IC chips so everything if you remove absolutely everything off this board uh, and uh, however you do it whether you scrape everything off or you pick each individual component like you know you take off your MLCCs then go for your resistors then go for your IC chips so on or or, or try and uh, put some heat onto it maybe a, a hot sand bath might uh, clean up all these this stuff off it and then process these boards yeah so yeah they um they do vary but they come in every uh, lcd tv just about uh, uh some don't have fingers some will just have uh they'll just have little plugs um like here they'll just have this like this little plug and 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 that's where it connects to but this one does have fingers but some don't uh, and also your your small LCD monitors, your PC monitors, the LCDs, they will have your finger strips in there as well. Usually just one, depending on the size. The real big ones, they'll have two, but they're only very small. And yeah, there's, there's very little on them, uh, but they're easy to clean up because there's only a few MLCCs and and, and stuff on there. So you just uh, remove all them and just throw the, the whole thing in with your uh, finger strip board recovery so there's not many uh, guys at the moment that have refined these that that can give us a, a, a good um an idea of 
of how much gold we can recover, say per every kilo of these. Um, I know the e-waste buyers, you know, they buy them based on the fact that it's just gold flashing and, and they get them quite, they pay quite a low price, but you know, you've got to take into account that there's really nothing on the boards apart from the, the gold flashing. So, so whatever they pay per kilo or pound, uh, they're getting a lot for what they're paying because these don't weigh much. So it's going to take quite a lot of boards to, to make up a kilo. Um, and, you know, if you're getting only a dollar or a dollar fifty a kilo, then, gee, you know, you're better off keeping these and uh, wait, either waiting for um, uh, until there's enough people out there that know what how to process them and what they are and, um, and then sell them or keep them yourself and, you know, maybe process them yourself. It's up to you. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, if, if you you know these these um these are like TCOM boards, uh, and they also can be, you know, you can process them exactly the same way. You can see all the the gold running around, and um, so in this case, this board is highly populated. So you're going to want to remove all this, and uh, then we can just process this whole board. Um, and just to show you a bit of a uh, an example of plating like and and you know the difference between plating and flashing and uh, or the quality the the thickness of the gold you know so in this uh say it's flashing um and we'll just go with an old a very old um keyboard with uh you know gold plating on the pins and i don't know if you can tell the difference with this one maybe get another one yeah, you probably won't be able to tell the difference, but uh, um, one thing I notice is with these old ones and, and things that I, I know are gold-plated, the gold is actually like reflective. It's not, no, it's, it's shiny rather than reflective. Like this gold here, it doesn't shine back at you. It, it just reflects the light. Whereas this has got a, a shine, like you can actually, you know, it does, you know, mirror the, the light back at you. Um just not sure if you can see it. Um, so yeah, so that's that's what I think the difference is with uh, gold plating and, and gold flashing is what I notice on on a lot of um, on a lot of these boards that uh, not only is there is the you know there's gold fingers and gold plates here and all that, but it's not plating, it's flashing. But and as you can see here, it's 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 right over. It's very heavy. Um, um, I was going to say the uh, yeah, but not only is there just just um, this kind of uh, gold flashing, but they also they get right into it. They even writing like brand names and logos. They'll actually even have that in gold as well. And so um, there's no way that someone is going to sit there and plate um, logos and all that writing. You'll notice on on some of the boards that. So yeah, it, it it definitely is flashing. And here's another um, older gold plated um, board, little uh, keyboard. Um, and as you can see, yeah, I don't know, not sure how it's coming up on the on the on the screen, but uh, you know, this is dull, and uh, it's still gold, but it's dull. This is like shiny gold you know it's it's definitely plated and that's flashing so you can pretty much safely say that all all of these finger strip boards are it's gold flashing and not plating they'll have pins inside that will be gold plated obviously if there's gold in the ic chips it will be gold plated it won't be gold flashing um the anything else that's on there the mlccs they will still have your palladium and silver um but yeah just uh a lower grade of gold but still gold so so um you'll notice uh over the next year or so a lot more people are going to start talking about these because if you get two of these out of every lcd once people start getting stacks of them, um, there's going to be a lot more people looking to refine them, and uh, we'll then know. Uh, yeah, but uh, as yeah, here's 
one example of what I was talking about. You can see the writing there. Now, you know, all the, the coding, the C's for the, to show where, you know, the, um, the capacitors and all that, all the writing is done in gold as well. So they're not going to sit there and plate that for um, just to write. The reason why they do that is, well, while whatever the machine is that goes over and sprays that gold on, um, well, whilst they're doing that, they might as, they, they, they figure they might as well just use it to um, print all these little labels because um, it would probably be cheaper to just keep going with the gold spray rather than, you know, change, change it over and then start printing these with normal ink. So... Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely not not um, gold plating. You can see all those words, all those letters are all gold gold uh, flashed letters, but they're still gold. So um, you know, when it comes to gold recovery, you're still going to you're still going to find gold in there. How much is there? Well, you know, that, that's probably you know not really. Uh, it's it's doesn't really matter because uh, you know. It's another free source of gold. If you add it to everything else, it's just another thing you process. Um, and, um, you know, you've got your, your gold pins and your gold fingers from, you know, your main computer stuff. So this is just uh, from TVs, but, uh, you know, TVs are easy to find. They're, they're everywhere. So uh, um, over building up these for a couple of years, you'll uh, really get a, de a, decent, a decent pile. Anyway, so that's pretty much all I've got to say on, uh, on fingerboards. And uh, yeah, um, I, I like them because they're clean. They, you know, they're, they're pretty easy to stack. You know, you know, there's no big components, chunky things that bulk it up. Um, and yeah, if you slowly just, you know, you pick off all your MLCCs, like here, there's, you know, just so many of them, um, you know, so, you know, that's all about palladium and silver, um, and so, yeah, and then, uh, get into your gold, just, um, I'll just process the whole board as they are, no point in, um, you know, because if you're gonna, if you're gonna go for these little fingers, well, why wouldn't you want to go for that? That's, you know, quite a lot compared to, that's a lot compared to that, you know, and on the other side, you know, it, uh, these are going to be um, pretty easy to refine. They're going to be fun, and uh, I can't wait to we start getting some real results from this, and uh, and we'll see how we go. So his, his, you can see that the the sharp, the lettering, it's in gold. So they're not going to gold plate it. It's going to be gold flashing. It's just going to be some kind of screen print or um you know computerized laser printing and that's it but it's gold anyway that's all i got to say on finger strip boards um if you want to keep discussing it um jump onto uh, scrapforum.com.au and uh we'll um you know there's always people there enjoy talking about uh refining from circuit boards, all kinds of scrap. All right, LCD TVs, gold finger strips, get into them.